Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JMAC Sports Cards. We're going to talk about a topic today. I think a lot of people are talking about it. We're going to talk about the eBay Standard Envelope Program. Um, you know, a lot of people complain about it. A lot of people don't understand it, fully understand it. I don't know if I fully understand it, but I do know that it was created basically for the trading cards, you know. So it's something really specific to trading cards. And um, it's not a foolproof system. There are, it, it does have its issues. But I think some people are blow it out of the out of proportion, not really understanding how to use it in its entirety. So I want to talk about that today. But before we do, one of the you can see here behind me is my listed inventory and, and uh, I mean the evolution of it. I'm now over 7,600 listings, crossed 7,500 I think yesterday. So we're on our, we're on, we are on our merry way. It's uh, uh, month three and uh, and I look back and I think I've sold a thousand items uh, since I began the journey here. So that means I've listed 8,600 plus listing so pretty happy with that but i'll show you i'm gonna show you right now the the current listed inventory and i got some pictures to show how the evolution of it has taken place so that top row is all basketball and football and down at the bottom that's all baseball there's a, a vintage oversized that stuff like stuff that won't fit in top loaders so they're in beckett shields and this one's like a misc box got everything that's like currently on auction on auction stuff like that player lots so lots of cards, card lots, I should say, stuff like that. Here's what it looks like now. And I'll flash and show you what it, the evolution of it so far over three months. Of time. And how it'll eventually take over probably all of that. There we go. Made some room here at the top because I am going to pick up a massive collection this weekend in Nashville. So that is going to fill up the rest of that top level and might have to take those on the end down to get this collection. I think it's about 75,000 plus cards, lots of Bowman first, uh, Bowman, Prism, cool stuff. So I've been working with the guy on the deal. I'm very excited. So I'm heading to Nashville tomorrow morning. But anyway, let's jump into this topic about eBay standard envelope and returns. Okay, so jumping over here into the eBay platform. Like I said, we're going we're to tackle this topic about the eBay standard envelope program and returns specifically. I don't think I in introed that properly. So some people have all, have reached out to me, asked about, you know, are you getting regular people saying that they they haven't received their package, tracking issues, etc. Once you do, if you use this program quite a bit, you're going to get that. So you're going to get people saying, you know, I didn't receive the package. It's been two weeks or whatever. You know, some this th there is just a this tracking is not very efficient with the eBay standard envelope program. Um, they're not checking it in every step of the way like they are with first class or priority mail, even though it is considered uh, first class mail. So you got to understand that that it's not going to be foolproof tracking. You, you're not going to be able to see it every step of the way. I think they they do it a you know, at the major hubs, uh, regional hubs, when it hits those, they might update tracking. Um, but I don't like the delivered is not, it, I think they're doing that based on a projected date. Again, that's just my assumption. I don't know that for sure. Like I said, I don't fully understand a hundred percent the program. I haven't read the docs surrounding it. I probably never will. This is all just through experience. So sometimes, like I said, the packages should say delivered to a customer but they're just basing that on a date range i believe and so it hadn't got there yet though um someone unfamiliar with the program oh, like people that use it regularly understand that you know it says deliver but it's going to be probably a couple few days before it actually arrives but i've got a, a notepad of different responses can responses and so when they come i got them on my phone and on my desktop app so if i'm at my in my office here in the sports card shed i'll shoot them a message say yeah you know whatever i've got it written out um basically I, to sum it up in a nutshell it's just you know the tracking is not perfect 
And many times it could be a week later. I would advise uh, wait, waiting another week or so. If it doesn't arrive, just go ahead and open up an item not received case. So that's the thing. Th this program is guaranteed. As long as you're not selling cards over 20 bucks, you'll, you're fine. We'll get into here in, in a bit is how to go about filing a claim. So a lot of people have asked about that and they don't know how to do that. So um, that'll be number one it, that you really can't lose. Even if it shows delivered, they say they haven't received it. eBay will still refund you. The, you know, you, you can file a claim and you can still get refunded anyway, because they, I think they know and understand that the tracking on it is not, you know, hundred percent accurate. So they're going to side as long as you got the messages showing where the buyer said that they did not receive the item, even though it shows delivered, they still did not receive the item. You will get refunded. So that's so here, you, like I said, so you see, I got a uh, 7,622 listings and I've sold about a thousand items. So what I did here is I said it, I really kicked this off um, going full, fully into reselling full time on or, or about December 15th. And that's currently March 9th. So not quite fully three months, but I've uh, set custom dates here so I can show you the, the items I've sold. And so here you go. I actually have sold 1100. So if we do the math on that, 7,600 plus 1100 items, 8,700 items, 1,127 of which have sold. So I, I put, I bring this number up just to talk about here real quick that, so out of 1,127 items, I dare say that at least a thousand of them were, were shipped via the eBay standard envelope program, plain white envelope. I have gotten probably a total of eight or 10 people reach out via direct message saying that they have had issues with receiving the item and hadn't received it, et cetera, et cetera. Then through the course of me uh, sending them the can answer that I was talking about earlier, I have actually had to refund, I think five people out of a thousand. All right, so here on calculator.net, you can see here that I've refunded five people out of a thousand sales through the eBay standard envelope program. Like I said, the other 127 were like first class priority. And again, this is just a guesstimation, but around a thousand of those sales were through the eBay standard envelope program. So that is with only five of those get, actually getting having to be returned. Like I said, maybe 10 people reached out, but they the other five or so they didn't open the case and then they wind up messaging me back saying hey i received the item they were patient they understood the program most of them or even if they were new they were like okay thank you thanks for responding so quickly i'll wait and see and then they got the card anyway um then the other so it is less than one, a half of a percent in my current data of people that have actually returned items and never received their card. Okay, so that's pretty good um, actually in the big scheme of things to get 99.5% of people that have ordered through this program with me have gotten their cards. It's pretty daggone good, okay? And you know, you're able to ship at 60, 60 cent with a plain white envelope with standard uh, size cards. So um, it did go up a little bit this year so far. It was, it was at like 56 cent, but it has went up to 60 cent. It's actually a pretty good program. You know, are there flaws? Are there quirks? Are there things and customer requests that you'll have to field? Yes, of course. It's a business. Okay. Uh, that's the thing about, I think people want everything automated and they think that everything's going to work flawlessly and there will never, ever be no issues. That's not reality. You're living in a uh, fantasy world. If you think that that is the case, unfortunately. All right, here is the link that I'll share it down in the video description below. And I'll also pin a comment with it. Here's the, how to file a claim on eBay. You do have to wait. Let's say the order takes place on, uh, March 1st. They don't get the package. You refund them. Maybe say March 15th. You've got to wait 30 days after the order date before you can start this claim. So. There is a delay for you to get refunded, but I've refunded those five people and I've went back and filed claims and all five of them, I was reimbursed within a day or two of filing the claim, but I did have to wait the 30 days after the order. 
So you, you enter your eBay ID, which is in my case, it's whatever your eBay is, your eBay store name, JMAC sports cards, whatever your PayPal address. You got to use PayPal. So you do have to have PayPal. So you anti PayPal people, you're not going to be able to use this program and get refunded. It just is what it is. Just, this is the part. This is what they use. Don't like it. It might not be for you. So, and then you, you enter the tracking number, the eBay, uh, Standard envelope begins with ESUS. I think most of them do. Check loss. You put your first and last name, which will, you know, and then you upload a screenshot of the order number of the eBay order details. And then you upload a copy of the buyer's message about the loss or damage package. This should come from eBay Messenger. So you got a screenshot the message where they um, sent it can either come during the when they file a claim when they open a claim though it'll be in a message thread saying that they weren't didn't receive the item you can use screenshot of that or just do the direct messages that come in that they say they did not receive the item um, either one of those just a screenshot of it and you upload those two two items click file claim if if there's an error or an issue it will usually tell you right here on this screen then if not it just says um, you have filed a claim for this item and then if you do something wrong you'll have someone reach out to you usually within a day or two in an email to fix or send another screenshot of something uh, of the message or the order id that was wrong or something like that so um and then bam bingo you get your money pretty quick so there you go that's it that's how it's done it's that simple really just fill out a few field few fields and upload two screenshots and you get refunded usually within a couple days so it's really easy peasy and you can't lose with it so don't overthink it guys anyway hope this has provided some value if you guys are enjoying this kind of content subscribe to the channel hit that like button all that's all i got till next time guys thanks for watching doses